Welcome to ASHDO T84, Specific Gravity and the Absorption of Fine Aggregate. Let's start with talking about some of the equipment you're going to need to run this test today. First, you're going to need a heat gun, an Erlenmeyer flask with uh, distilled water, a tamper cone to hold your sample, a spoon to help stir your sample while you're drying it, a brush to help reconsolidate your sample, a tamper to tamp your sample, a spatula, and of course a thermometer to detect the temperature of your water. You need to split out a thousand grams from your field sample. Dry 230 plus or minus 9 to a constant weight, cool, and then do a cover with water and let stand for 15 to 19 hours. You can also let it stand for 15 to 19 hours with 6% water added, which is what we've done here. If you've covered it in water, decant the excess water, avoiding a loss of fines. You need to spread your sample on a flat, non absorbent surface and can expose it gently to warm air. You want to dry this material until you get what is considered free flowing condition. That's like dry sand. We're going to fill the cup overflowing, tamp it down 25 times, spread over the entire surface. going to brush away and remove all the excess material around the base of the cone and it didn't collapse. So we reconsolidate material and try again. Fill the cone to complete to overflow. Stamp it 25 times. Remove all the material around the base. And it still did not collapse. So we'll reconsolidate the material and try again. Keep your hand on the cone at all times. Don't let the cone move. Downward pressure. Turn all the time. Tamp 25 times. Remove your excess material. Raise the cone gently. And you have a partial collapse of your cone. This is what we're looking for. Now we're going to consolidate my material. Take 500 pluses or my minus 10 grams. And weigh our material. We're going to immediately introduce all my material into our uh, picnometer or Erlenmeyer flask. Careful not to lose any of your sample. Be sure to clean your pan and your cone thoroughly. Now that you have your sample in your bottle, rinse your funnel thoroughly. Rinse the neck of your flask out and bring the bottle to about 90% full, right about the bottom of the uh, neck.
Now you will shake, roll, whatever it takes, as long as you don't lose anything, to remove the air from our pycnometer. This can take 10 to 20 minutes depending upon the material. check frequently to make sure that all the air is out of the sample. Rinse the neck thoroughly and bring the water level up to near the calibration mark. Next, record the temperature of your water and material, and should be at 73.4 plus or minus 3 degrees Fahrenheit. If not, you can use a water bath to help cool it or warm it up. Now that you have the uh, sample in the proper temperature range, bring the level up to the calibration line. Use a paper towel to clean out the neck of the flask. Don't forget to wipe off the water and fingerprints on the outside. Immediately take it and weigh it. Once you've got the weight and recorded, remove the sample from the flask. This may take some uh, time and water. Careful to rinse off the tip of the bottle each time that you pour it out. You can use any water now. Tap water is fine. Once you've got it rinsed out, check to make sure that all the sample have been removed. Your sample and your pan and your water and take it to the oven and dry it 230 plus or minus 9 until a constant weight. Next day, take your pan out, let it cool for about a half an hour. And then get your weight. Report this weight on your form. Complete your paperwork.